Well, hey folks, it's JD coming to you. As promised, uh, since I started this uh, no alcohol and <clears throat> really uh, trying to dial in my health, um, you know, I got the, um, the suggestion from a very good friend of mine, Diana Richardson, that uh, I should catalog um, my, I guess, my journey through non-alcoholic uh, options that are out there. And to be quite honest with you, I've never really indulged in any of them. I've had a, you know, a few here and there, but uh, it's been eye-opening. Um, you know, I started uh, early last week, and you know, I'm almost at a week uh, with no alcohol. Um, I'm having to deal with some some medical issues and stuff, so I'm going to be on the wagon for a while. And so I wanted to share my thoughts and my experiences and my journey with you guys. Uh, just to you know, share what uh, what I've encountered and what I've liked and what I haven't liked. Um, you know, for many of us, <clears throat> we uh, for whatever reason or another, um, you know, we have to shy away from alcohol. Um, and you know, there there are some options out there, but I encourage everyone to kind of reevaluate their priorities um, or their expectations, may I say, uh, when it comes to this. Um, the flavor is going to be different. Uh, the mouthfeel, um, you know, everything about it's going to be different because obviously the alcohol is lacking. And so it does add uh, a certain complexity to the drink when there's alcohol. And you will definitely, if you are, um, you know, you really enjoy craft beer, uh, spirits, uh, wine, uh, you will definitely tell a difference between um, the ones that do have alcohol and the ones that don't. So want to share what I've encountered this week. Um, again, I'm not getting paid for this. This is just my views, my opinions. Um, and so here it goes. So I started off looking at Athletic Brewing. Uh, I believe they're out of Colorado. And I've actually tried three different flavors and three different options that they offer this week. This first one here is Wits Peak. It's a wit beer. Um, again, all their beers are listed as less than 0.5% alcohol. This particular one, which is again a wit beer, is 60 calories, 12 grams of carbs. Um, the flavor profiles that I picked up from it, uh, picked up some wheat, uh, some orange, coriander, coriander, banana, clove, and it was very light body, bodied and delicious. I really truly enjoyed this one. And so this will be definitely a beer that uh, I'll use two different uh, scorings. Uh, one is being a drinker, or if it doesn't pass my litmus test, it's a stinker. So this one is definitely a drinker. The next one from Athletic Brewing was the Upside Dawn, which was a golden a blonde. Again, they list all their beers as less than 5% alcohol. This one has 45 calories, 10 grams of carbs, um, this one again is light bodied, very clean, very malty. It's your typical, your typical blonde. Um, and, and I, again, really enjoyed this one. This next one, again, from Athletic Brewing, um, Cerveza Atletica. It's a light copper Vienna lager. I'm guessing it's supposed to be a Vienna lager. Um, it, uh, again, less than 5% alcohol. This one has 60 calories. Uh, 14 grams of carbs. This one was the least favorite of the three that I tried from Athletic Brewing. Um, you know, it's uh, it was very malty, very sweet. Uh, it was bready. I mean, it did have some of the characteristics of a Vienna lager, but again, it just didn't it didn't do anything for me. So I will not be seeking this one out. So this one for me was a stinker. Moving on. Uh, the next one is from Happy Hour Drink Company, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it's an, uh, an offshoot of Eighth Wonder Brewing down in Houston. This one is called Happy Glow, and this one is a cannabis-infused seltzer, a small little can, 7.5 ounce uh, can. Um, this one here <laughs> has 5 milligrams of THC, 5 milligrams of CBD, three milligrams of CBG and two milligrams of CBN. 
Um, this one has 30 calories and eight, uh, eight grams of, carb, uh, of carbs. This one here was the uh, blood orange flavored one. And trust me, there was a lot of blood orange flavor in this one. This one was really um, enjoyable, uh, very refreshing, uh, very, very, very light notes of the cannabis. Um, uh, so um, there was no, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't get a buzz after this can, so boo. But anyway, um, great flavor. Even even the wife enjoyed this one. So this is definitely something that if it is um, distributed in your area, uh, give it a try. I think you uh, think you would like it if, if seltzers or uh, yeah seltzers are your 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 jam. So the next one that I tried is from Groovy G R U V I, and this is their Golden Lager. Uh, less than five percent alcohol, fifty eight calories. Um, didn't give me a lot of information as far as nutritional facts on this one, but it did say that it's vegan and it's gluten reduced, less than 20 ppms, whatever that is. Um, this one here I did enjoy. It was really, really good. It was light, crisp, refreshing, touch of bitterness on the end, and slightly sweet. So it really had the characteristics of a, of a good lager. So this is something that I definitely enjoyed. This is definitely another drinker. Uh, the next one was from Estrella Galicia, which is from Spain. Um, this one's a lager, 0.0 uh, .0 ABV by their, from their website, 21 calories, 4.7 carbs, very light, very refreshing, light malt, sweet, uh, and a, a, a light hop finish on the back end. So this one was done really, really nice. Um, so again, the next one is from Lagunitas Brewing Company. And this is something that I've actually had before and I had to put it on this list because I really do enjoy this one. This one is distributed in our area. It's the Hoppy Refresher. It's a sparkling hop water. This one here, if you're really, really um, counting calories and you want to enjoy something while you're at the bar with friends or family, uh, if they have this one, totally, uh, totally recommend you trying this one. Zero percent ABV, zero calories, zero carbs. It's made with Citra, Cascade, Centennial, and Chinook hops. So obviously you're going to get a lot of tropical and citrusy notes, the orange and grapefruit. This one I absolutely love. And what I love to do with this one is pour it over ice and put a wedge of orange in there. And it really, really just makes it even that much better. So lastly, and I got to give a plug uh, to the boys over at Free Room Brewing. Um, Jaron Shepard uh, brewed or made a hop water. Um, this one is 0% ABV, 0 calories, 0 carbs. This one I absolutely love, and it makes it so much nicer that when you're, you're, you're not drinking alcohol and you want to go hang out at your favorite brewery, that they have some options for you. And this one is the one that I'll always go with. And again, with this one, I love putting a, a wedge of uh, orange or even a lime uh, that really, really spices it up a little bit. So this has been my experience this week these are the ones that uh, i went through the only one that i considered was a stinker was again the one from athletic brewing and it was just the the um the uh Cervesa athletica which i think was their interpretation of a vienna lager um, and maybe you know good with someone else but it just didn't hit for me so not dissing on them by no means. Uh, they do some great products. So this one was just one that I just didn't enjoy. So anyway, uh, there you have it. I'll uh, share my experiences next week again with uh, uh, non-alcoholic options that I've tried. And, uh, you know, if you have any questions, um, have anything to recommend, please do so. Uh, remember to please like this video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope I'm uh, providing some, um, some key information for you guys, um, and I hope you get something out of it. So, JD out. Remember to be a good human, uh, stay classy, and uh, just go out and support local. Until next week, JD out.